I need now pneumatic tools or this heating tool. And let's look at opening direction is in this way. And it moves. Okay, and I work a little bit with that nut and soon this is open. Okay, and then we look this Honda automatic transmissions clutch plates replace and removal. And here we have one clutch plate and this part belongs in here, in these positions in here. And this clutch plate's purpose is that it locks our gears and it makes also the smooth those gear changes. And then we have also in this inner area in here we have also clutch plates and let's go to look that area also. Okay, and then there is also clutch package in that inner area if we have any slippery there is similar part and inside in this part there are also clutch in here in that package and note that in Honda cars there is a lot of these small bearings and that's this is important to remember this install this just same way back and this is Honda's Maybe this automatic transmission's weak point that there is too much these small bearings. And this area is really this inner area of this automatic transmission. And inside in these package there are similar clutch plates what we can replace. But next I open this clutch plates package that we can see that how they are made and how we can install those. Okay and here we have this clutch plates packet and firstly we have to open this nut and then in this inner area we need now pliers it looks like that sharp head tool and when we look in that side area there we can see this locking pin in here in this part. And let's go to look closer because next I have to little bit bend that pin away in this way and move that in here. And let's look closer how I do that. And now we have nicer view and this is really this clutch plate locking pin and it looks like that and there is small cut hole in here. And this is important that we found that and then when we found that we install some sharp head tool in here and bend carefully in this way and then I need to only move that little by little and this locking pin opens and in this position now lock pin is away and this is really compression thing and now we have these our clutch plates in here and when I carefully lift that I can take this next package out and there are really st steel plates this is quite dark and tight it don't go easily now it comes out and this is this is like protective steel part but this is also part of this this package and when we clean that we have to check that this is shiny and not too much burn out but if there is hard things we need to replace the steel plate also and in here this is the steel package this clutch disc this one and now we again we clean that and in here, when we look at this outer material, this is this clutch thing, this small parts. 
And if this part has been worn out, then this our clutch is bad. And that's we need to replace especially these parts because these are soft material and this is really automatic transmission clutch disc. And when we have manual car and manual transmission only pick one clutch plate in automatic transmission we have in here five to twenty pieces and we have to replace all of these parts <coughs> what are worn out and sometimes these middle steel plates in here we can see a little bit worn out and this is maybe too thin and we can purchase one of these steel plates that we can measure this thickness and we only replace those worn out steel plates and clutch plates or then we replace all of these plates and then we have good thing and now I take second package away this looks also good because there is this material sometimes these dents they have worn out totally this looks good also then I take steel steel parts that part away and these are in here and when I install that in this way now I took all of these plates away and in this low area note there is one this is like locking part and this is steel plate and in this part now we can see this harmful burnout this is like burnout because there are those scratches and there, there has been quite much force and this this is maybe one of these parts what we can right away replace this one and then I check this clutch disc this looks both sides are okay and it is quite easy to see that if there are those material dents left this is okay and good disc okay good and now we have really open this clutch this bucket package and there is this idea that we need to only replace all of these burn out and bad clutch and those middle steel parts okay good